Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chitanesh Nuria and I was making the review for the Novel Nougat Experience S8 Port version 5 and I went online to check some things and I just saw that the version 5.1 was out. We're just gonna install it today and we're gonna do a dirty flash and that means your data will not be wiped and you can simply install the ROM and it will work and your data will not be deleted and all. So we're gonna do this and before we get started I would just like to say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video. Now let's get into it. So first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off our device and we're gonna go into the custom recovery and now we're gonna go into the custom recovery and to do that we're just gonna press volume up key, home key and power key at the same time and now we're gonna let go of the power key. And now we're just gonna simply go and install and this will only work if you are on the version 5 or if you are on the version 4, 4.5. I mean you have to be on the Noble Nougat Experience ROM's previous version to do this kind of dirty flash otherwise you will have to wipe the device and all. So we're gonna go and install and we're gonna find the new zip over here. So as you can see NNE 5.1 stable S8 port and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. So now we're gonna go next and we're gonna select the dirty flash over here and we're gonna select next and I'm gonna select my G925F over here next and I'm gonna go with the Indian so that uh, the whole team might work so we're just gonna find the Indian one over here. So the Indian CSC is not over here so I'm just gonna select the DBT because it says OMC multi CSE I can list all CSE's files over here there are too many CSE files most are uh, check it out so I'm just gonna select that and see what's over there so you have multiple uh, CSE files in this so we're just gonna go in this and find the INS over here and there's the one the Indian unbranded the INS and that is the Indian one so we're gonna select next over here and you have some features over here the csc mods over here so you can change the things over here so you have options of camera during call it enables camera while calling can be used for even during calls so i think i might use it so i'm just gonna select that and enable sound menu in so i'm just gonna select that so by using this i can enable or disable the shutter sound in the camera applications so that is great the sms backup i don't really need the backup the sms's because in india you get so much of those uh, promotional messages that i don't really like and sms to mms conversion that might come in handy when the messages are too long that converts into mms so i don't really need all of these as well the call blocking i might need and i don't need the network speed and you have LTE only enables LTE only mode in connection settings so I don't really need that as well so you have smart manager tweaks over here so I'm gonna select that recent app protection so let's select that and see what it does and you have the advanced Wi-Fi menu over here so I'm gonna select that the call recorder as well and the data usage I think I don't need it so next so you have the build.prop tweaks over here so first of all you have the multi-user option so the multi-user option gives you the multi-user feature that I don't really use and I don't really think anyone uses it anymore do let me know down in the comments why and how do you use it so we might get some clarification for that so you have the disable SPM app killer so what it does it it disables the the apps to be killed quickly and it allows them to be in the memory for a little longer so it helps you with the multi tasking but i like to keep my ram as much as clear so i'm go not gonna select that either so next and you have the features over here which you can select to install or not install so i'm gonna go with the accessibility functions and these are the accessibility functions which come from the samsung's so the, the one-handed mode the game uh, and all the game launcher and all comes in the accessibility functions so i don't really use the easy launcher and i don't really like that as well so i'm not gonna select that and you have the edge features over here so i love the edge features and i'm gonna select that and as you can see this device 
is the Galaxy S6 Edge so why not get the Edge features so and you have the gear and every Android Wear support so I have that JT VR box so I'm gonna select this over here and the Samsung magnifier and the Samsung post services as well I don't really use the Samsung cloud or the print so I'm not gonna select that uh, and I'm gonna select the S Finder and the quick connect smart switch support I don't really use SDK app tool uh, we might need that so we're just gonna select that and I am a uh, telephony app uh, it helps you with the multi but I have not really seen it working with anything so I'm just gonna select it and see if it works it might help with the geo application for the volt e maybe that what this is for so we have the all share wi-fi direct and in the version 5 also the wi-fi direct was not working but in the version 5.1 it has been fixed so that is really great so i'm gonna select the sound alive but i'm also going to select the wiper for android later on and you have the samsung mirror link which i really use with my new tv and you have the vpn support which i might need and you do need the ussd codes because it helps you with the battery calibration and the inverted screen problem you might have experienced it before but uh, it comes in very handy so you have the secure folder option over here so i'm gonna select that and the uh, samsung bixby over here you can install the the main applications over here so i'm just gonna select the samsung bixby and with the version 5 the bixby came with the bixby voice that was really great and in the previous installation video i showed you the working bixby and if you want to check it out the link to the video will be right over here please do check it out and it will it was really amazing to see the bixby working so i'm gonna select the samsung always on display browser calculator calendar clock uh, and i'm not gonna select the email app galaxy app store music my file weather smart manager google now and not the s voice so next and you have the options over here so i'm gonna go with the s8 port and finally in the s8 port camera the ar and the snapchat filters camera work over there so that is really great and now you can enable the navigation bar from right over here with the version 5 and 5.1 so if you want the navigation bar go ahead and select a yes over here and in the sound mod what it does if you select the Alex dual speaker surround mode what it does is it allows this earpiece over here to act as a loudspeaker so it gives a surround sound kind of you know a stereo speaker kind of feel to it so that is a great thing and I've used it it comes in very handy too so I'm gonna go with the Viper for Android. I do recommend using the Viper for Android and if you want a crazy great setting for the Viper for Android for your headphones and all. I have already made a video about it. Link to the video will be once again right over here. Please do check it out and you will get some amazing sound out of your headphones. So I'm not gonna go with any fonts. I don't really like to change the font. So I'm gonna go with the stock font. And I just saw that there are Android O emojis over here. So do we dare? Yeah, we do. So we're just going to go with the Android O emojis now and we'll see what difference does it make. So next over here and now you have the option of the white boot animation and the black boot animation. So I'm going to go with the black boot animation because the version 5 came with the white boot animation and I didn't and I didn't really like it. So I'm going to go with the black boot animation next over here and the ROM is installing now and hopefully my data is safe and intact and the applications are not deleted so we're just gonna wait for the rom to get installed and i'll be right back so the rom is installed now and we're gonna select next over here and it took about a minute or two to install it was really quick to install it and maybe it was because we did the dirty install so we're gonna reboot the system now and i just read online that you might have to select the xaa usa's csc to get the bixby voice working but i selected the indian one for the volt e fix and it says that it might fix the volt e problem as well if i have selected the indian one i mean if you select your own country's csc it might have fixed the volt e problem so it's a choice between volt e and the bixby voice i think right now and as you can see the device booted up and the reason why the samsung logo shifted over here is because that i have enabled the power saving mode in my phone so it turns the phone into full hd and the samsung logo just swipes over here so that is the reason 
so we're just gonna go in so it says that I have to restart my device to get my new sim working so it might have to do with something that the OLTE has been configured in this device now so I'm just gonna let the Android upgrade because in the OTE fix video that I have made it takes the whole upgradation to go on before the OTE is working so I'm just gonna let it go and if you want a working OTE and if this method doesn't work for you I have already made a video about it please do check it out and link to the video will be right over here and no worries about it and as you can see it is going on a little bit slow so we're just gonna let it go let's talk about the change log for a bit and the rom comes with the fixed fast charge i think it wasn't working in the previous version but i didn't really notice it and it has the fixed smart view and wi-fi direct problem what it did in the previous version was if you enable the wi-fi direct if you go into the wi-fi direct options the phone would just freeze up and it will just freeze up and it will just reboot so that was the problem with the wi-fi direct and fixed auto brightness i thought it was working i didn't really have issues with the auto brightness in this uh, version 5 but now we're on the version 5.1 so uh, fixed black screen on games the version 5 had some problem with the games it just got into black screens i haven't played much games on it but uh, it didn't bother me because i was playing jungle heat on it and it didn't happen to me and it says fixed bixby voice but not its resolution and select xaa csc for get it working so i think i might have disabled the bixby voice somehow uh, by selecting the indian csc so that is a problem so and we have the last uh, we have added the option to choose your country CSE to prevent video call and VoLTE issues. So the VoLTE is fixed now I guess and I will put in the my Geo SIM in it and see if it is working and I will report that in the full review of this ROM. So let's go into the ROM now and don't go off saying that the phone is working so slow. It just booted up. It takes about a minute or two to get it working properly. And now the device is working on its full speed and it is flawless over here and I don't feel much of a difference right now but as you can see all of my apps are installed and there's no problem with that and my data is right over here. So let's see if the Bixby voice is working. What all you can do. So I think the, that the Bixby is working and it might have to do something with the audio right now and maybe I'm not loud enough for it. So I think uh, the ROM is installed now and you have all your data and applications and let's go into the about device once and see if there's any changes over here and I don't think there's any changes over here so I think that's it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys.